So briefly, in a quick overview, I'm pretty sure that all of you are familiar with thermal precision scientifics. So I hope I will show you a little bit of things that are not commonly known. Right? <coughs> we have 70,000 employees worldwide. 5,000 of those are R&D scientists and engineers. And uh, we are 24 billion dollar company, which invests one billion dollars in research and development every year. Our motto is uh, basically the reason that we support these kind of endeavors, right? We enable customers to make the world healthier, cleaner, and safer. So in this case, we're talking about the cleaner, maybe the safer part, to a certain extent. And this is one of the things that is not very well known about Thermo, is Thermo is uh, a divided in five basic divisions. Thermo Scientific is the one that we are representing here today with the analytical instrumentation in general. But also we have the uh, four other companies, Applied Biosystems, which is heavily into genet genetic analysis, right? Everything has to do with the uh, DNA analysis, uh, finding out the uh, uh, genetic codes, etc. We have Invitrogen, which is a pharmaceutical, it's a life science uh, a company, divided a, a specifically servicing a development of drugs and the new therapies in general. We have Fisher Scientific, which I'm also sure you are familiar with. You use all, a lot of their uh, disposables and things in a common lab work in the labs. And Unity Lab Services, which uh, is basically uh, the part that takes care of all of the service of the other four companies. So they, our service is, is trained by each of the divisions and the service is done by the engineers and technicians from a separate company in order to be able to take care of all of our customers. As I said before, in Fisher Scientific, right, we have the analytical uh, instruments in there divided in three main categories, chromatography and mass spec, which is a focus on life science uh, in general, right? Uh, we have materials and structural analysis, which the FTIR and, and Raman are part of it, spectroscopy is part of it, and as well as uh, electron microscopy, right? The big uh, uh, electronic microscope, microscopes and uh, thermal uh, the EMs are part of that division, and then we have what we call the chemical analysis division, which is the sort of the more industrial, more applied kind of uh, uh, handheld uh, instrumentation that you can see in different uh, places. In the chromatography and mass spectroscopy part of it, we have a gas chromatography, liquid chromatography, and uh, everything that is related to it. In mass spec, we have different ways of separating the samples and then use the mass spectroscopy part of, the, of there. And then we have trace elemental analysis to look into <laughs> the very small amounts of uh, samples using atomic absorption or ICP techniques. And then we have the informatics part of it, how do you handle all of that information and, and manage it in a, in a proper way. In the materials and structural analysis, which as you can see in there, FTIR and Raman are part of it, right, what we are representing here today. We also have, as I, as I mentioned before, the part that is electron microscopy. We have surface analysis. And we have bulk elemental spectroscopy, which would be the X-ray techniques and atomic emission. And uh, we have materials characterization, which uh, they are in part uh, liable for what we're here today, because they do all of the research to develop new polymers in general. This is the, the portfolio for the, for the spectroscopy side of it. Right, as you can see, we have benchtop, uh, Raman, and uh, FTIR and, uh, instruments, as well as microscopes, like the ones you're going to be looking at this week. And we have, of course, uh, a global footprint, right, with service, applications, and, and sales, supporting all of those five divisions in general. And worth mention is the, the Unity Lab Services because we think that it's very important that, that I'm all done. <laughs> uh, very important to, to take care of that instrumentation that you, that you take and you the, to support it and having tried to have it the, the working 24 7 as much as we can. If you have any questions, I'll be here a couple of days, so be free to answer it. 
and uh, Jamie, which is also a representative here in the, in, in, the, in the area, so will be also going to introduce all the people here. Jamie Mills, Dr. Jamie Mills. She's a sales rep here, coordinating part of, of our representation this work. And Suya, which I'm sure a lot of you already know, which is our application scientist. And uh, she's going to be teaching you a lot of things this week. <laughs> Thank you. Any, any questions for her?